Hi there, this is John Cohen again. I've been asked by a few people to talk a little bit about HDR photography. Here we have seven images that I captured uh, down at the beach. Let's go ahead and make it into an HDR. First thing we're going to do is select all those images and we'll drop the sharpening down to zero because we don't want to sharpen pre-HDR. So with that done, let's go ahead and export that into uh, HDR Effects Pro from Nick. Uh, it's one of the softwares I like to use to do HDRs. I find it to be the easiest way for me to do it properly. Uh, so right off the bat, you notice up top here, it shows me the bracketed exposure that we're at. It gives me a preview that's generating here in the center. Uh, and we're going to leave the alignment off because I shot this with a tripod. And I'm going to leave ghost reduction on because there is some movement like this bird here in the center and we want that not to be ghosted. So let's go ahead and we'll create that HDR. And we'll go ahead and open up our preset window at the same time here as we're loading it. The nice part with the presets is it's a way to pre-visualize what the photo might look like when you're done. So here's one example of, uh, of a very interesting photo. We can look at something a little bit brighter like this. A little too bright for my liking. Um, what we're going to use, we'll just use one of the outdoor ones. I think that's the easiest way to start with. Let's go ahead and we'll use something like, eh, let's use this one. Nope, not like that one. Let's use this one. Still don't like it. Because they're indoor, that's why. Let's go ahead and grab an outdoor one. Getting better. All right, let's use that. Perfect. So this is just a starting point, and we can adjust easily the compression. By using the method strength, we can actually soften the picture up or we can actually make it a little bit more detailed. We're going to go somewhere in the middle, and we can go ahead and compress it or decompress it a little bit. So it basically brings you to the light or the dark side of the highlights and shadows. Um, that's a good starting spot for me. So let's go ahead and we'll hide that up. I'm going to bring the exposure up just a bit to make it a little bit brighter of an image. And let's go ahead and add a little more contrast in here also. I really like the difference between the dark and light but I really find that the sunset is missing here, or the sunrise, I should say. So let's go ahead and we'll make it a little bit warmer of a photo. We'll bring the saturation in a little bit more. Um, and let's go ahead and hide that now. And let's go ahead and add a couple color uh, control points here. I'm going to add one here for the color of the sun coming through. And I'm going to just actually adjust that temperature to be even a little bit warmer. And you can see just by turning it off and on the difference Subtle, but still a difference. It really brings out the yellows. And I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that control point. And let's put it also over here. And let's put one over here, and one over here, and one over here. So we're really getting the sun peeking through. The other thing I want to adjust is the water over here, which I think is a little bit too light. I'm going to go ahead and make it a little bit darker. So let's go ahead and make sure I'm selecting the right area, which definitely looks like I am. And let's go ahead and adjust the temperature there. I'm going to bring it down just a little bit, make it a little bit darker, a little more bluer. And I'm going to add a little more saturation and a little bit more structure. And let's turn that off and on so we can see again what that looks like. So there's before and there's our after. It's a subtle difference, but it certainly makes a difference in my opinion. The last thing we're going to do is just bring up a couple of posts here. So you notice that there's this post. I find them to be a little bit too dark. Uh, let's go ahead and turn that on. Let's see where we're at. So uh, we'll add one more control point to show where we don't want to adjust. Great. So now the control point is set up for the post that we want to work on. Let's go ahead and select it. Bring the exposure up a little bit on that. And we'll go ahead and add a little more structure there. And a little bit more saturation. Perfect. And now we can look at our before and our after, and we can see the differences that it makes. Um, there are some other finishing options that we can do, and I'm going to go ahead and just add a quick little, uh, let's go ahead and add a vignette here. To me, that's a very subtle change, but it does help out, in my opinion. And we'll place a center just down here so we can have the focus go that way. Perfect. Let's save it, and we're all set. Thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy.